Alrighty, it's time for dinner. It's Crystal City Girl Homestead. Hey, Jack. I'm down to one chicken in and legs and thighs left. That's it. All right. So today is day four of our pantry cooking. We're going to make a weeknight's shepherd pie, but it's not going to be like your normal shepherd pie. So the first thing we're going to do is turn our stove on. And we're going to take a large onion, diced. Which ours is frozen. <laughs> and we're going to take a large clove of garlic, which I'm going to put a tablespoon in there. And we're going to get all that cooked up together and um, get the onions first so they're not frozen, but suck it so that they're translucent. And then we'll be right back. Alrighty, so the next step is, as you guys know, we already pre-fry our, our hamburger. We're going to put that in there. Get it all mixed in with that, with the onions and garlic. I had someone ask me the other day, and I know that not everybody reads the comments, but they asked if our, our hamburger tastes a lot different after you freeze it. I don't think so. Um, I know some of the hamburger that I have canned it does. It tastes just a little bit different. But the frozen, I don't think, tastes different to you. No. And believe me, you know, you can go through and fill one of your big Instapots with 10 pounds of chicken and you're done in 45 minutes. You know, believe me, it saves a lot of time. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one tablespoon of flour and we're going to get that covered. It doesn't say not to drain it, so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too thick. So now we're gonna let that cook for one minute because you want to cook that flour taste out of it. All right. So now it asks for stewed tomatoes. We don't have any stewed tomatoes, but we do have diced tomatoes. So we're going to add those in there. And it says to let this cook for 10 minutes so that the flavors can intermingle. I'm not quite sure for that one. It says to bring it to a boil, but there's nothing to boil. <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to make this our own, and we are just going to let the tomatoes get warmed up, and then we'll be back for the next step. So now we're going to add peas and carrots to that, and we did not let it go the 10 minutes. We just wanted to make sure everything was warm. And Jack doesn't have any peas and carrots, so he's using mixed vegetables. Mixed vegetables which I think is fine too. You know, because it is your, your kitchen, your rules, you do what you like. If you don't like peas and carrots, put all green beans in there. You know, put, I don't know, something else in there. Whatever you guys want, you could add corn in there, whatever you want. So now your oven needs to be preheated to 450. Jim forgot to turn ours on, so it's not quite preheated yet. <laughs> he punched in the numbers but forgot to push start. I've done that a million times myself, so. And I'm sure the rest of you have too. <laughs> now, I didn't think this would fill a 9 by 13 pan, so I chose to use an 8 by 8 pan. If there's not enough for his lunch tomorrow, then I guess we'll just add something to it. 
So we're going to put that in the bottom of the pan. We did grease it. All right. So now what it says to do is to take some butter, put it in your bowl. So we did. I can forget to turn the burner off again. I did? Yeah, I'll get it. I had it all done. I'll get it. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> so now you're going to take a can of sliced potatoes and you're going to pour it in that butter. Here's yours, Jack. There you go, Jack yo. Pour those in there. And now it doesn't call for salt and pepper, but I'm going to put some pepper in there. And I drained our potatoes. I don't understand when something doesn't ask for salt and pepper. It did ask for thyme. I do not like thyme. So I did not use thyme in this recipe. If you want to add it, you're more than welcome to. But I'm not a fan of thyme. Ha <laughs> ha, get it. <laughs> now you're going to want to put those potatoes. It says to put them around the center, but I want it to cover the whole top. So once again, you do you. And what you think would be best on your on your dish. Now you can overlap these because obviously they're already cooked. Look at that. that looks pretty good, Jack. Yep. Let me think. Now I'm not gonna let that wa that butter go to waste. So I'm going to pour the rest of that butter over top of my potatoes. Waste not, want not. Is that, isn't that what they say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Here. And everything came out of a can. And like Nanny Tam says, if you have hamburger in your freezer and you have onions, then I guess everything came out of the pantry. So... I'm going to put this in the oven, and it says bake 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes start to get a little brown. I actually would like to see my potatoes get just a little bit, not crispy, but a little bit more than just browned. You know what I mean? I think it tastes a lot better. Um, sometimes your canned potatoes, you really do have to season them up because they don't add seasoning, nothing like that to them. So I, I really hope that all the videos that we've been doing this week for dinner and then like the canning and a few other things today, I hope it's really helping you guys to learn some things for your pantry because let me tell you, up until three years ago, I didn't can a thing and I don't even remember what it was that I wanted to can. Do you? No. I don't remember and you know, I bought the water bather and all that good stuff and then you know, I got me a used um, pressure canner, and actually that one's my favorite one. And I actually paid more for the new seal than I paid for the, <laughs> the canner on the auction site. And when I seen that I could make meals and I could can just about everything that I'd ever want to eat, um, it became a passion of mine. And so now I have a very nice pantry. And um, I've got a few more things to stock up. Hopefully Tom can do that. Maybe Saturday I'll give you a look at my my working pantry and show you what I've done to kind of organize things just a little bit better because the house isn't that big. So <laughs> I have to organize well, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> like that one guy says, have you ever heard about decluttering? And I'm like, have you ever heard of a working kitchen? <laughs> so we're going to get this done in the oven and then we'll be back. All right, so it's fresh out of the oven. Take a little piece of potato there. Can't get with the potato and everything else. Jeez, old Pete's. Keeps dropping off there. There we go. It's a hot jack. Yeah. It's still bubbling. <laughs> It's 
That's pretty good. Mmm. It's very hot. <laughs> so winner, winner? Yeah. Definitely good. I liked it. So, I'll be back. Tom should be on his way home here in just a couple minutes. And... Bye! We'll see you in a little bit, guys. Well, hi, Tom. Hey. Only two days left now. Yep. Look at there's dinner. Two more tins. Yeah. How's dinner look? Yummy. How's it taste? Yummy. <laughs> he says I'm gonna sneak a bite. What do you think? I think it's delicious. Instead of mashed potatoes, it's got canned potatoes on the top. Mm. I think it makes a nice addition, what do you think? Very good. Awesome. Well, we've had a busy day of canning and cooking and got the last thing in the canner right now, the chicken broth. Might actually get done tonight sometime. And the last chicken parts are in the um, the cooker, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.